What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here reviewing today Mirror's Edged Catalyst. In the city of glass, corporations control everything. Internet, phone lines, even what job you work. Freedom is a thing of the past, except for a small select group of people who choose to live off the grid. They call themselves runners, and in this game we're filling the shoes of one of these soldiers of information. Our character Faith has just gotten out of prison. After spending nearly two years in jail, she's a little behind on the times. Luckily, her old team is still hard at work and they gladly offer her a job. Soon she's back to running missions, fighting with the police and earning her way to the top. Honestly, the story in this game is about as interesting as reading the ingredients on a cereal box, so let's just skip to what's really important, the gameplay. The only reason to play Mirror's Edged Catalyst is for the love of climbing, which is pretty much the one thing it does perfectly. Quests are all about finding your own way across rooftops, making your own path over the obstacles in your way, and getting a little lost in the process. The biggest change from the original Mirror's Edge is that it's now open world. While a game like Grand Theft Auto or Assassin's Creed can pull this off because they're essentially pretty flat, sometimes jumping amongst the skyscrapers can be a bit of a confusing ordeal. Rarely can you just sprint straight to your destination, instead you need to discover the exact path that the game wants you to follow. To make things easier, you can turn on what's called runner's vision. Faith's technology savvy friends have invented a device that plugs into your brain and constantly traces the most efficient route to your goal. This can be turned off at any point for those seeking a real challenge, but personally, I found myself relying on it a lot during some of the tougher side missions. If I'm given a delicate piece of information and I have to get it to another district in 60 seconds, doing it completely freestyle can be almost impossible. Here here we have the most glaring issue in the overall design of Mirror's Edged Catalyst. The ideas it's trying to pull off are fantastic, but many of them seem half complete. A detail intensive plot is fine, but if your voice actors sound bored, then the story won't be interesting. Open world parkour is a marvelous thought, and yet, too much empty space can leave us feeling like a goldfish suddenly dropped into the ocean. There's not enough substance to back up these features. In fact, even the new combat system is all about style instead of functionality. Staying alive in this gleaming city is a matter of speed. Keeping ahead of your enemies and making sure you can escape or stop them before before they attack. Sticking with the main theme of the game, fighting is all about momentum. The faster you're moving, the more damage you do. Getting confronted by a tough batch of cops can be scary because Faith can't take much damage. However, if you drop in from above and crush one or maybe kick a few off a roof, you can quickly balance the odds. Situations like this are cool at first, but soon you're confronted by super soldiers who require that you be high enough level to even attempt to take them on. Oh, did you not know that this is trying to be an RPG now? For some bizarre reason, we're forced to do random tasks like collecting data chips or completing time trials in order to earn enough experience to unlock more skills. I admire them for trying to change things up, but it feels like a bad move putting so many useful abilities behind a level wall. As a whole, Mirror's Edge is a game with a lot of problems, but at its core, it's really fun to play. When it's you alone on the rooftops, just exploring, going where you want to go, and testing the limits of your own climbing talents, it's a blast. I just wish we had more purely gleeful moments like this. Okay, so we've heard some good and some bad, but let's head over to the ratings board and put a big number on it. I am giving Mirror's Edge Catalyst a 6 point five out of ten this is a title that would be absolutely perfect if it were maybe twenty or thirty dollars instead of the full sixty dollar retail price tag there is some decent content to enjoy here just not nearly enough if you can rent this game somewhere i recommend it if you can't wait a few months and i'm sure you'll find it in a discount bin Thanks so much for watching gamers, this has been Dreamcast Guy with another review. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But, do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.